so now you can see the error guys when I turn on my PC the blue screen of death is coming up and it is again trying now you can see automatic repair is coming up so why you are facing this issue I should tell you there are multiple reasons behind this error windows corruption I mean the system file has been corrupted of the windows the second one is hardware changes if you have changed any hardware RAM or the hard drive and the third option it could be the windows update faulty update and fourth one if you have installed the incompatible software on your windows so this could be the cause of this issue so let's try to fix this issue guys we need to click on this option advance now you need to click on troubleshoot advanced option and from here guys you will see lot of options here so first of all I should suggest you to click on this option start up repair this will try to repair the windows corruption files and try to diagnose your PC but this will rarely fix your issue after that we will move on to the second step so let's wait and see if it fix the issue or not an error code could be different but you can see it doesn't fix the issue so again I have to click on advance troubleshoot and advance now in here guys we have couple of options here so we need to click on this option startup setting and we are going to open system into the safe mode click on restart now we need to click on here F4 button or 4 button you can directly press here to open the system into the safe mode and if you are able to boot into the safe mode that means the good sign but in my case it is not booting up into the safe mode so we have to figure it out now okay means that the issue is big and system is not booting into the safe mode if you are able to boot into the safe mode you can go to control panel and uninstall software from there which you have recently installed now the third option you can try is command prompt this option and if you have recently installed the update you can uninstall them one by one quality update and the feature update one by one and try if it fix the issue or not otherwise we have options of uh, command prompt and the first command we need to type for sfc space forward slash scan now this command will try to repair the windows files so let's see if it fix the issue or not now you will you can see that it has found the windows corruption but successfully repaired them so let's try if it fix the issue or not now cross this out and continue with windows 11 or 10 and see what happens Okay, still not critical service failed error now it doesn't fix the issue guys so we have to move on to the fourth method again it is preparing automatic repair if you are not able to access the automatic repair options guys you have to shut down your system two to three times forcefully 
as soon as the window loads just press the power key for almost 10 to 15 seconds and then turn it on back and let it diagnosed and then you will see automatic repair but in my case I already getting the options since error seems to be big so in the fourth option guys we need to go to the troubleshoot and you can also reset your PC but this will be the fifth options okay if nothing works then you can try these options but we have another options here to fix it now we can try to restore the system in a back days when the system was working fine if you have created a system restore point on your system so this may fix the issue we can try this out click on next now you can see and this is the recently created the restore point by me so we can try this if you don't have you should be getting the red error in this case so this is the restore point with the date okay click on next once you click on next guys your system is going to restore in that day okay and no harm to your data as well so we need to click on finish and select yes and you can select the latest date from here now again it is going to take some time guys so let me pause the video for time and then i will resume so it may take 30 to 50 minutes so wait for the some time make sure you plug in the charger in the laptop the system restore is completed now and system has been restored to the, that day and your documents have been not affected so we have to click on restart option guys so select a restart now let's see and check if it fix the issue or not so see window has been booted successfully guys and let me log in so issue my issue has been resolved with the system restore and yours should be resolved if you have created or system creates automatically sometime you can see all the data is as it is and you will see the successfully again message close this and system is booted now so this is how guys you can fix the issue so hope your issue is fixed now if still not fixed guys you can reset the options from there you can reset your system and you can keep your personal data so thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech